guys how are you so halloween's gonna be pretty soon today's the 20th or something like that so yes for this makeup we have a lot of possibilities it's not just this black dress or your typical long sleeve dress i have the the stuff over here and then you can put this like this instead of your little ears or you can wear a flower uh, cat ears if you want or just put this one like this and a black dress doesn't have to be long sleeve depending if it's really hot in your area we have this top that this is a top that's like leopard print but you know tigers and leopards and all those cats are family friends or beloved cats so this makeup can be like if you want a leopard this one with a skirt or we have a dress over here which is in leopard or cat print which has some sequins and you can wear this one as well with your cat ears. Let me put my cat ears back on. Because this makeup belongs uh, belong to the cat ears. Or they sell this nice sexy dresses. This one's leopard print dress. If you don't mind being... I suggest you to put this with ties or leggings or something. Because you're not going to go this like, like that to the street. This is too sexy. And also you have a nice body for it. So, but in case, um, this is another option. This one is great for me. Um, I have some black boots with this. As you can see, they black. And this one seems like it's perfect with the makeup tutorial that I have. So... You can either wear this little ears or wear this little mask. I already did some nice eyes that you can see through this here. And I already draw the cat's mouth. So this one's just going to be the half part, which is the other part. Or you can wear this little cat ears that I already have that. This one's worth $1 in the Dollar Tree store. So that's all, guys. Enjoy the... I hope you like the little combinations idea for the makeup tutorial. And please enjoy this video. Mwah. So with a clean face or <laughs> just foundation in my face, let me just start this tutorial. I just uh, put on some concealer in my face. I blend all in and press powder and a primer um, beneath the concealer as well. So I didn't do much in my face. And now I'm just gonna prime everything. These little eyeshadows, they come really uh, commented um, when you put a concealer underneath. Or if you have an eyeshadow primer, use that as well because with just your finger and just the color, you will not get that much pigmentation. So make sure you wear a primer or concealer to get a lot of pigmentation in your eyes. Similar to the primers, um, the concealers I joined you in this little palette over here that I bought in Marshalls when I was back in Puerto Rico. When I was in Puerto Rico, I'm saying. Um, get a nice brush, perfect uh, to work on the crease. So, um, this basically, I'm gonna put this one really girly. So, I'm using this nice purple color, which I'm going to blend with the pinky color that I already applied in my eyelid. I just use a brush. Um, I really love this brush because it has like a contour, kind of shape a uh, brush. So it's perfect to blend all in my eye crease. So I love it so much. So that's what I'm gonna use to put in both of my eyes as a working um, piece.
So this is basically a future pinky color with a nice purplish color. So with a contour, <laughs> nicely brushed. I'm gonna use this contouring kit, which has a blush, highlighting everything I need, even concealers. The concealers are kind of powder concealers, but it works as great. I'm gonna go with the contouring, which is perfect. This contouring is the perfect contouring. It's not dependent on uh, you know, you get the most natural effect on contours, and that's why I really love this little contour kit. So I'm just gonna apply my contour in both of my cheeks. So what a nice blush. This blush got me loving. I'm in love with this blush this month. Uh, this is like a pumpkin pie kind of look brush which is blush. I'm gonna say which inspired me to do like a pumpkin spice makeup tutorials. But it's like it's Halloween time. I'm just gonna do my makeup tutorials for Halloween time and normal tutorials later on. With just one swipe you put um just with the same brush don't reapply like don't put more because this thing over here is so freaking fermented like just swipe one time put a little bit in one sheet put another little bit in the other sheet and just blend it because this thing over here is so freaking fermented i'm gonna try to work on some highlights on my face so in this area over here with a more a smaller brush i'm just gonna apply a little bit of highlight and in the other side, just apply a little bit of highlight and apply more highlight in the side too and blend them both so they look similar. So over here is the pen. This one has like a market kind of looking stuff, which is perfect to draw things in your face. This one's a liner. This one is for from some Wet and Wild brand, so just go find it. Um, pens that have like this so same this style. Like they great. that without this design, or simply it's very subtle. In case you just want to make up. Because it's me and telling you all before I got interrupted that this is me and color, so it's perfect just like this for Halloween parties. So, the difference that I'm doing here and doing like lines of the cat. And like three points that you know what it means that a cat and something else you can do a oh, small nose away. The nose either can be black. Let me just draw the nose. Either can be black or you can put any other color that you wish. Where's the top of this? I don't know what's the top of this. Let me leave it aside. Or you can put any other color that you wish with a nice brush that will give you a lot of pigmentation. You can grab another color. In this case, I think a pinky nose would be really nice. So I'm going to go for a few colors since that's what we have. Pink and purple. And just paint my nose. Um, make sure it's really pigmented that pinky purple is not so pigmented. So let me just always with a concealer. You don't even have to have a primer. Concealer make the eyeshadows pop off really nicely. So even with that, let me try with the color once more. And 
I know for sure I will have a lot of more pigmentation. See, I have a bunch of pigmentation. This color is not as intense as I have wished it would be. So let me try the purplish one. So this one's more intense and more nicely. So let me go with this one. Or it can be black. Whichever you prefer. Or it can be like a little circle, it doesn't have to be deep like this, so just just draw a nose, just like any other Halloween tutorial, you always have to draw a freaking nose. So, that, I think that's great, like that. Or just... Just can freak it out a little bit. Put some black stuff in all over your eye. Some do like a swoop over here, and then put like your little cut stuff. You can mix that out and do different. Be creative during Halloween times, whichever you prefer. So for my lickies, I'm just gonna go with a nice red color. What about that? So let me just find a nice red color, which I'm gonna tell you. The red color that I have was one of my very favorites the whole entire month. Like, I mean, I have so nice favorites to share with you. I don't have red color in here, but I have this new color, which I think it works great. Let me see. Yeah, this color will, will do it. It's a nice new color. them so here we have a setting spray so that's what we're gonna use okay this is for our beauty in the budget um in the stores this year been coming out this little cat ears it's this has some flowers or just simple like that colorful cat ears glittery cat ears all kind of cat ears this um, cap ears are great for this Halloween time because you just put them and make yourself a little small cat makeup and then you wear black or white you become a white cat or with flirts you know those they have dresses that have flurry stuff like flur like real cat um real cat hairs but they not you know it looks really cat so you can either wear that or this new one is perfect for a black dress, whichever way you prefer and it's for my beauties in the budget. I don't have no black dress, but I think I have a black dress, but you know, are more those cat dresses that they sell in the stores are long sleeves, really tight in your body. You can wear it with some black tights and some boots and it's perfect and you're a cat. So... You don't need that much of uh, difficulties in this case and this uh, probably they have like ears with real 
hair like over her looking ears i don't fucking know but in case this most of the stores they been selling these little cat ears like this so they're a great idea just to wear them like this with your favorite black dress um like most cat um costumes are black so and you have your ears and just with the items that you already have your makeup collection you don't have to buy halloween kits you already have a lot of possibilities so this one is great like i did a squalled makeup with just my things that i have i did a bunny makeup last year with just my makeup um you know my makeup kit and it is perfect. I did a clown face in my face just doing with my makeup that I already have. I didn't have to spend in new kits or nothing like that. So, this is the final look. I love it and I hope you love it too. And I will see you with more Halloween tutorials hopefully. See you later. Bye.